This is Hunter from Black Valve Media, and today I'm going to show you um, how we built our entire streaming kit. Starting with building the PC that we're going to use to stream using OBS, we're going to get into all of that, and just all the pieces, parts it takes to make up our streaming setup. So we're going to get a little bit into not only what we're going to use, but how we're going to use it, and the gear we use to protect it, like this hard case right here. Today, we're gonna build another computer. Um, this one is oriented toward live streaming. We want a box that's portable, um, lightweight, and good for getting on the road and going out and doing some live streams. With the pandemic, uh, we've been doing a lot more live streaming, so we needed a solid setup. We have another computer we've been using a lot, but it's you know it's got glass in it. Um, it's a 3080 build, so it's, it's a little bit overkill for that. Um, and it, every time we take it, we are down in edit suite. So we need another box that is ready to go um, and a little more tuned for live streaming. So that's what we're gonna do here today is build this Mamma Jamma. And we would have gone ITX on this to be low profile, but we needed an extra slot for our live streaming car. This gives four inputs. So we need that in order to get um, our video into the box and into our programs to stream. So we went with a, um, Micro ATX, and that's gonna be just fine for us. Case is a little bigger, but still smaller than our other rig that we were toting around, you know, and there's no glass in it, so it's gonna be really, um, make, make us feel a little bit more comfortable about taking it out on the road. Is, it's rolling, I can start moving stuff. All right. All right, so for the case, we got a Lee and Lee Langcool 205M. Um, it's a little smaller than most cases, which is good for us. It can be a nice little mobile deal. Um, and it's micro ATX. I think you could even fit. Nope. Yeah, you couldn't fit ATX in there, could you? I don't think so. It's just a micro ATX case. Um, so cool. Yeah, that's kind of the deal. It hides the power supply. It's a nice little case and it's got good airflow. So happy days with that one. All right. So for the motherboard, we've got an Asus Tough Gaming. Who cares? The B550M, so PCI 4.0, B550. That's what we're after here. It's got Wi-Fi in it. That's a great thing for us being on the road with the machine, um, not having to have another PCI slot for Wi-Fi or a USB jank deal. So it's already built in, good to go. And additionally, it's got 2.5 gig ethernet on it. So a little better than your standard one gig. Um, so if you're somewhere that has that availability to support you with that, and you get a little extra speed boost. So for live streaming, you wanna have as much bandwidth as you possibly can get, because you're gonna eat all of it. So, let's pop this sucker out of here. A little DVD action. There's like nothing with this motherboard. This is a Ryzen build we got going here. So we got a Ryzen 5 to slap in there, 5600X. We're gonna use the Crack in NZXT, so we have no use for this, at least this time around. Four slots of RAM, that's great. Our two slots here, and uh, two setups for NVMe. I think that's what's under this little bar. Mr. Thousand Pins over here. And we're gonna look for our little triangle of hope. I feel like they like make it harder and harder, just so it's a little bit of a game telling me that that's the way it goes. All right, so that baby's in there. We're gonna close our little sleever. There it is. That's a processor in a motherboard. Okay, and then the T-Force Vulcan Z DDR4, 32 gigs of RAM. My favorite number one choice of RAM. So recommended configuration, A2 with the star, with dual, it'd be the A2 and B2. Gray is, gray is your, all right, so, oh, that was in there, nice and good. And that is in there nice and good. 
So it's got RAM, it's got an OS drive, and it's got a processor. So it should turn on. What else do we want to throw in there? I think we're going to, at this point, put it in the case. And then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. I know a lot of guys like to build on the table, turn it on, make sure it works. But I, I, I'm too good for that. Like, I know it's going to work. I've never actually built a computer and it didn't work. So we got an EVGA 850 PSU. The guys at Micro Center keep selling us this thing. I'm a Corsair guy. Here in my life, they say it's no good. I'm also a Seagate guy, and they say that Western Digital is better. But uh, I just never had any issue with it. And toss this mamma jamma in there. Ooh, we got eco mode. I like that. It's like a generator. But you wouldn't, you nerds wouldn't know what a generator is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's line her up. All right, so this is our very first 3060 Ti. So that's exciting. It's the f three. I mean, what, what does it FTW stand for? What do you think? Fully transmittable wireless. This thing is pimpy. This is a pretty card. Installation guide, put it in. Wow. You know, it's like a mini 3080, it really is. Okay, well that's in there. We're gonna get this Kraken Crackalatin. It's just a pretty cooler, it just is. Um, Hey. All right, well, it's built. Um, I'm gonna put this antenna on there. I'm gonna bust out our peripherals and we're gonna power it up, make sure everything is functional, nominal, usable. Um, but yeah, once again, integrated Wi-Fi, very important for us in what we do on location. Gotta have that Wi-Fi just in case you cannot get a hard line. So a big thing with this, again, is having a wireless and mouse. Um, less cables, less clutter. 
You got the dongles in the back. You can just ride the mouse and keyboard in the case. Oh, there it is. And you're ready to go when you show up. You don't have to play around with the cable. You just got a mouse, whip it out. So we got this Corsair K63. Really, really nice. The, the, the action on the mechanical keyboard is pretty nice, but it's not super loud, which is great too, because if you're on set doing a live stream, you don't want this clicky monster. Um, but you know, being wireless again, super useful. So to install Windows, it's just on a little USB stick. We'll have a link in the description to that so you can see how to do that. Really easy, really convenient, and the moment of truth. I, I, I'm too good for that. Like, I know it's gonna work. I've never actually built a computer and it didn't work. Wait, did I put the power switch back? Nice, I did. Good morning. So in this rig, we have the Elgato Cam Link Pro. It is a four channel in HDMI. Um, so that works for us in OBS very nicely. Um, we'll feed it our C300 cameras, which have a SDI out. And on this end, we'll have a couple of Blackmagic micro converters and convert from SDI to HDMI. And it's really nice because you can run the SDI up to around 200 feet or so um, and have long runs, run right to the computer and then switch within OBS and have a multi-cam setup. So that's how we use this. And it's been what's worked for us, um, especially when you only have one operator on this end, it's nice that you can just kind of make programs in OBS um, and set it all up to be easy to use and um, very seamless. So um, it's, it's gonna be nice. We're really excited for this rig because we don't have to tear out our edit suite every time we have a job. It's just gonna sit in a case um, or be easily thrown into a case um, and taken with us. So it's a cool rig. It's a little low profile. We were gonna go with something without the glass, but this case had glass and we were like, you know what? If we break the glass, we're probably not treating the computer correctly. So, you know, the glass gives it that extra care. If, you, if you're careful enough with it not to break the glass, you're careful enough with it not to mess around with any of the components. So that's kind of a, a win loss win there for us. All right, so it's been a week or weeks or months. It's, it's been some time, maybe a day, you don't know. You, how would you know? But it's been some time and we're coming back to this video to finish it up, to show you the kits that we've created um, for making this a mobile situation. All right, so for our streaming kit, we have two cases and I'm gonna walk you through both of them just to show you what we have in each and, and what we need to do most streams. Oh. Okay. All right, so before we got these cases, we really ran into a lot of times where we were doing these shoots and, you know, getting to and from was kind of sketchy. We had a lot of our computers and stuff in bins that wouldn't close all the way just because of the size. Um, so we really wanted to get some nice Pelicans to house everything just to give you ease of mind and just know that the stuff's gonna get there and back to the studio all in one piece. So our two cases are, this case has all our peripherals. I'm gonna pop that open for you and show you. Show you. So in here, we have this Samsung 27 inch monitor that we've bought, I think five of now, cause we love it so much. It's 4K. It does split screen, which is super. If you have two like computer sources um, or two sources at all, it's just high quality and pretty durable. And we also have put on all of them a baby adapter on the back that's with a VESA. So that way you can put it on a C stand or a rolling stand or something of that matter. So um, that's the first thing in this case and we put it with it face up. So the only thing touching the front of the screen is the foam. Um, there is more foam going down, but all of our other peripherals would be banging or clanging against the face of the screen. So within here, we also have our audio device. Um, so our feed from our mixing board, or if we have a feed from a sound person uh, dedicated, it all can come to here. 
Then you get sound into OBS. We have in the middle, we have the Stream Deck XL, I think, right? Is this the XL? So Stream Deck's XL, and we can do like switching or just any macros we wanna put on here for whatever the stream calls for. Uh, yeah. Uh, HDMI cable, you get from the computer, power supply for the monitor. And then just some, just some different odds and ends. USB to HDMI is like a backup. Uh, DVI to HDMI. We throw those in like every case just because all the time we forget them. And uh, a lot of these monitors only have one HDMI in. Um, or the computer only has, the computer has four outs with three of them being DVI. And a lot of our stuff is all talking through HDMI. So that's. Uh, aside from a keyboard, which we have out right now, that's the only other thing, and a mouse. A keyboard and mouse that we would put in here, which actually we should put in right now. Here's a... Yeah, so those are some of the accessories in here. And I'll just put the monitor back in there, and I'll show you the PC case. It's the same size, but it's yellow. So that way you know the difference very easily. Uh, and here is the PC case which is same size as that one, um, but inside is our streaming PC. And we also have the Wi-Fi antenna in here, uh, a keyboard for the computer and mouse. And what we're also going to add today and here's another one of those adapters that we tuck away in every case on purpose. We don't like to keep them in the back of the computer. They'll get busted off and stuff. And you know, this offers sufficient padding around it and keeps it safe in transit much better than just carrying it separately and a little more easy too because the, the kits are already organized. And even if you had someone else picking it up for you, it's just like, hey, grab those two cases and I know we'll have everything we need. So. Um, what we're also going to add today to finish out this kit um, is the micro converters from Blackmagic. And these ones are bi-directional SCI and HDMI. We really like these ones because if you have an HDMI source, the HDMI out works as a loop and then you also get the SDI out and vice versa. If you have an SDI in, you get the HDMI out and an SDI out. So very useful. Um, and you're only buying one device to go um, Two different ways so it also can work as just a reamp we've done that a lot too where if you have a really long cable run you can just reamp with this thing you know if you had uh 250 foot hdmis you can go 100 foot or if you had a uh, 200 foot capable sdi you could go 400 foot so that's kind of uh, a nice thing it's a bonus and they're only like 60 bucks so it's a very good value and since most of our cameras are um SDI, and this is going to take HDMI in. We're just going to include four of these with this kit. So whatever your setup is, you can, it'll always work in any direction. So the thing about a Pelican is, you know, when you're starting out, a lot of things are expensive and like, it's hard to think about spending hundreds of dollars more on something to protect it, but it's very important to protect the gear. I mean, you have to protect that investment. It's also waterproof, so you get stuck in the rain. You're not worried about your stuff getting rained on. Um, you know, stock, they come with uh, this foam that's pluck and pull, which is, it's pretty good for most stuff, especially things like this, where you can just make a shape and put it in there. Um, there is other solutions out there that get pricey, but are, you know, very convenient, like, uh, Trek pack. We have a lot of Trek pack in our Pelican cases. Um, and there's a lot of like divider systems out there made by Pelican or other brands. But, uh, you know, for this kind of thing, we're just going to make a couple of slots and puck and pull or pull and pluck or whatever it's called. And it's going to work just great for this. 
because it's not necessarily something we're taking stuff in and out of day in and day in out. And that's where this stuff really fails is it's not as durable over time. I just feel like eventually this stuff starts to fall apart and starts to cave in on itself. And you just don't get the form fit that you get on day one. But let me go with this for a while. So one thing with building out kits like this is, you know, we, we have all this stuff in doubles now just to make this kit, but it's nice because there's no scrambling or assembling. It's just, it's all in the kit and you know what's there. And when you set off to go do a job, you're not stressing about, oh, was this in there? Was this in there? The kit is made to where there's literally a slot for each item that you need and it you can't walk away if you can just open the box and look in and see that each slot is filled and you know you have everything so it's a little more pricey to like go and buy doubles and triples of things but i have triples right if i don't have triples then the other stuff's not true he has triples of the barracuda see? the barracuda is the one i have triples of i feel like we're starting to do more of that um, with a lot of our gear just so it's a simpler more unified system and and you know not cobbling together something for each time so this may be different for you if you're more independent and you work alone um you know you might have a kit of these and just you know to bring that kit with you if you're going to do a job like this but for us we're just you know we're oftentimes doing another job and someone else needs to be sent out with this equipment to do something else so it's good to know that you don't need to tear other rigs apart um, just to steal the parts out of them to make something work. So it's nice that everything you need is in the box and ready to go. So that pretty much wraps it up for what's in this case. Now that we have our converters, there's always a keyboard, there's always a mount that ro mouse that rides with this. So you can grab this and a peripherals case and uh, take a cart or a table and you're ready to set up a streaming setup. Did we build the computer on camera? Yeah. Well, that wraps us up here for the streaming PC setup. Uh, I hope you learned something. If you have any questions about any of our components or any of our workflow, please leave a comment below and we can get back to you on that and maybe expand a little on something that you're more interested in. If there's anything in this video that you wanna see us expand upon in another video, let us know and we'll do something like that. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. Well, thanks for watching cowboys and girls. And please, please hit that subscribe button. We appreciate it. And uh, that, that's Davey. He's, he's ready to go. So we're out of here. Thank you.